So I think the interesting thing in programmatic this year is that people are going to start looking you know, beyond this baseline of fraud, viewability, and brand safety. Uh, so people are starting to look at measures of how, you know, how much is the ad inventory actually being watched versus how much is it just being viewed. And being watched is directly correlates to brand lift and things like that. So if an advertiser is looking to carry their message to viewers or uh, users that are experiencing their videos, that impact is of utmost importance. So it's not enough to just make sure that the ads are being viewed. If you are a proactive advertiser, you wanna make sure that your ads are carrying the most impact they possibly can, because you, of course you want your brand message to be out there and whatever your KPIs are, you always benefit from your viewers being more engaged and actually watching the content. There's a whole spectrum of video and the way that it interacts with the ad. And what I mean by that is, you have a traditional pre-roll that rolls with a video after it, right? And that's one, it's probably the most classic way of, of, of consuming a pre-roll. Then you have maybe a syndicated video, which is a very small player that plays before a small, a small ad that plays before a small video, and then another small ad, another small video. It's on a carousel. And then you have uh, what we would call traditional in banner, which is a pre-rod that rolls inside a display ad unit, a small one typically, and then no content after it. And then you have what some folks call in feed or in context, which is a large ad space with a pre-roll ad that only runs with the viewers on screen, but there's still no content after it, right? And so then you have maybe a carousel where you're running just ads in a display unit. So there's just, there's a whole spectrum of kind of the way that the ad and the video interact and we don't really have a set of standards around that, but that really impacts the, how much the message is carried kind of into the user's brain. And so I think this year you'll start to see I know, at least at Integral, we are starting to come around some standards around what does in banner mean, what does in game mean, what does in, in stream mean, but there'll be other stuff as well, like what does in read and in, in feed and the stuff that Teeds and those guys are doing. So I think you'll start to see more consistent terminology. Right now, it's kind of all over the place, and I've gotten in these huge arguments about what in banner actually means, even here at this event. Uh, so clearly, there's a need. Um, but that's just, uh, that's just s sort of symptomatic of the desire to really measure impact that's sort of beyond this baseline. And I think you'll see in programmatic, they'll start to do the same thing. I think generally people are happy enough to say, you know, I don't want to pay for stuff that's not viewed by humans. But beyond that, thing, people will start to parse out and sanitize, at least kind of stratify the inventory to say, you know, this is worth this much, this is worth this much. Most people right now have a fixed kind of price that's just a, a big slush of all this different kinds of inventory. And I think to really clean up programmatic, you not only need to remove all the kind of nefarious stuff, but also kind of layer out, have this layer cake of, of price and, and be able to flex and say, you know, this stuff is worth this much, this stuff is worth this much. And it's all relative to how much the message gets carried to, to the reader. So it, it kind of, you can see why our, uh, our, our kind of mission is how much, you know, measuring the effectiveness of the ad and saying, you know, we getting this great story, how can we help this great story be told? You can kind of see how that plays into this idea of measuring impact. And so, you know, it's something that we look at very closely.